My name is Chris Miller and I'm an associate engineer at the St. Anthony Falls Laboratory and I work mostly on wind energy related projects so I spend a lot of my time out here working on the Eolos wind turbine. The Eolos Wind Energy Research Field Station is designed to enable government agencies, academic institutions, and industries to work together to accelerate the growth of wind energy in the United States. It is designed to be a testbed for new technologies and field research to improve the implementation and real-world application of renewable wind energy technology. The wind turbine tower is made up of four steel tube sections that weigh about 100,000 pounds each and were assembled on site by a large crane. Containing 45 truckloads of concrete and 44 tons of reinforcement steel, the turbine foundation weighs about 1.9 million pounds. Each blade of the Elos wind turbine has 10 fiber optic strain gauges, as well as 10 temperature gauges and 3 accelerometers that can measure acceleration in the blade and help us understand the load experience in each blade during rotation. This can help us develop new control techniques to minimize the load and the fatigue on the blades throughout their lifespans. So the techniques that we've developed studying our tower and foundation can be used across the country to assess the remaining useful life of turbines. When you walk into the base of the wind turbine, you see two large white cabinets that contain the generator control units. As we climb, there are a few platforms that were designed for construction workers to stand on while bolting the tower sections together. From there, there's a short ladder section to bring you up into the top. There it is! Where you see the generators in the gearbox and most of the mechanics that control the wind turbine. The turbine has a supervisory control and data acquisition system, or SCADA, that is used to control the turbine. Most wind farms just keep 10 minute averages of the measurements taken by this system, but we actually save one second measurements, which we can use for any type of research activity. All of this data is sent over fiber optic cables to servers in a building about a mile from the wind turbine. The Met Tower is a 130 meter tall tower that supports sensors to quantify the flow field around the wind turbine. Measurements include wind speed, direction, temperature, relative humidity, barometric pressure, and rainfall, all quantities that would be important for understanding the environment that the turbine operates in. For more information or to get involved with EOLOS, visit our website at eolos.umn.edu.